All right, guys, I went to auction today. Bought this unit here for $225. A little 10 by 15. It's pretty full. Tools and stuff. There's a toolbox here. I don't think there's anything in it. Just by looking at it. Well, oh, maybe there is. But, want to some tools up in there. A little bit. Hand tools. Another toolbox with some tools in it. Some clothes. I don't really know. But it goes all the way back to the back wall. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it. Some VHSs. Woo. But we're going to get to digging through it. So this unit is coming to an end very quickly. Just about empty. Just a few things left in the front. Got some stuff loaded in the truck. The whole back of the truck's full of eBay. So um, I'm going to take this down to my unit. Come up and grab the rest of this and be done. So I made it down here. Truck's empty. Kind of just shove this stuff in here. This is stuff from another load that I brought down the other day too. And I need to once again organize. But I'm heading back up to grab the last of it. Um, I had to move some of this stuff in here. Like these are all those Taco Bell trays. These are all deposit bags. I saw some selling. I'm not exactly sure. I got to look it up again. And then I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with the trays. But I'm heading off to go do my last load from that unit. Well, you can't see anything. But this unit is empty. Everything else is loaded on the truck. And we're done. Off to the next. What's up, guys? This is TJ filling in for Corey's vlog. We are live here on scene. A car flipped over at the local Chili's in Stafford. We got the fire department on scene. We got the boys. These guys they had a little too much to drink over at the Chili's. Fire department on scene. The police are on scene. This is not a good situation. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you. This is why you don't consume beverages and out. Look, 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 look at them, look at them. Woo! You can't beat, oh look, now they got, now they got, who's that? Who's that on the scene? Oh, oh, fire marshal's on scene. Oh man, I'll tell you what, look. We're here at the Chili's. Car's on its roof, somewhere over there. Oh, good morning all, I guess. Morning to me, at least. I don't know. Whenever you're watching this. But um, you can still kind of hear the cold that I have. I had a cold this past weekend. Not the best. Just got back from Vegas last week. It seems like every time I come back... From vacation, I get sick. I don't understand that one. But um, I don't know if those clips were in the beginning of this video or was the last video. I'm not sure. But if you want to check that one out or if it was in this video, I don't know. Um, but my clips from Vegas, that was a good time. But um, I'm about to go work on that 10 by 15 that you saw earlier in this video. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's get going. And we are back at this glorious unit now. What we did realize... When I, I kind of climbed all the way to the back, just kind of peek around. But there's a trailer in here. Kind of weird, but... So, like, that right there is some sort of trailer. You can see the coupler there. And then I guess it goes back underneath all that. I literally climbed all the way back to, like, those boxes. Just to kind of peek and see what was back there. Couldn't really see much. Did pull out this crate. This, um... Wooden crate here that says Hyden Bolt Company Incorporated or whatever. It's still sealed, which is kind of neat. But I looked up the company. I think it just makes like actual bolts. So that's about all that I know thus far. And then there's records in there, which I kind of peek through. And I think there's some more in this one here too. But that's really it as of right now. Time to get working on it. So we are successfully making a path. As I fall, scrap pile is getting pretty big. Made a little hole over here, just pulled out the find of the day. 
they're all little bags of teeth. That's just something. But I did find a couple cool things over here. A little um a reproduction cast iron bank. That's pretty cool. A little fishing one. This little um plastic Ford motor is kind of cool. This is kind of funny. Roadkill helper. That might sell. And then this one too. A little can. It's kind of neat. But not a whole hell of a lot of anything. Some brand new like sinks and sink nozzles or whatnot. A lot of uh, gun cleaning stuff up there. Some Hallmark Christmas ornaments that I want to get listed soon because Christmas is coming up. But we're just digging through a box right now. Ooh, what a box. With a rock in it. I did find this as well. A little, it's in my pocket. A little silver pendant and chain. Nothing special, but it adds up. But that's the progress thus far, and I'll let you know if we find anything else. All right, guys, so I'm back home now. This is what I ended up finding. I showed you this chain and pendant earlier. Right there. I ended up finding this earring, which I believe is silver. I think it's silver. i got to look at the markings closer. But there's that little earring. And then this bracelet here, which is probably real pearl. But it's a silver bracelet. So not too bad. And there's this little bracelet here too, which has no markings on it, but looks to be gold. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty close to 100% sure that that's gold. I'm going to test it with an um, acid test kit and see what it marks up as. But that's the cool finds. Also found a $2 bill in there too, so that's it for now. I also know you guys like seeing this. Some of the stuff that sold yesterday and this morning, or last night and this morning. We got a little wireless mouse that sold, a little roto split, a Texas instrument calculator, Bose remote control, whatever this thing is for like cable working. All four of these things here, boom, 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 sold within like 12 hours of listing. A Taco Bell belt. I had six of these and this is the last one, so that's sold. Um, some two things of laminating sheets or whatnot. A DeWalt battery charger and then another belt with like a GM seat belt on it. Kind of cool. I think these Taco, belts were, Taco Bell belts were cool. They were selling for 30 bucks a piece free shipping. Sold all six of them, so that wasn't bad at all out of a $75 unit. But that's some of the recent stuff that has sold so far. So we're back over here working to this, un this unit again. Pops just pulled out this Movado, which I'm not sure if it's real or not. Can't really get a good look at it here, but I doubt it's real. But um, have to look at it at home. Found some gun cleaning parts, some gift cards, a two dollar bill we found the other day when we were here. Pops Got a little pile looking up stuff. The scrap pile is getting pretty big, and uh, we're just going on through the stuff. So I just popped open this box and it said Carter Toys or Cater or something like that. But this is cool as all get out. There's a front end loader. There's a dump truck down here in the box. I open this thing up and here's the name of it. Right there. It says from West Germany. That's right here. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff down in here. It's all like toys. I mean, this one's empty, but still. They're all like dump truck. I don't know what this one is. A wheel tractor scraper. This is a cool box. I'm a kid in the candy store right now. But we're making a little hole. We're getting through it. This is a cool toy find. Hopefully they're worth some good money. I guys just grabbed this Winchester box. Looks like a gun cleaning kit that was up on top of that shelf. I haven't opened it yet. And I said I'll do it on camera. So let's see what we got. Oh, okay. Seems as if we just have a bunch of... Well, that's pencil lead. Weird. And oil filter. <laughs> Looks like just boxes of ammo. Those are just shell casings. 
as are those. That feels heavy enough. 38 special. Yeah, that looks like that's really it. It's just shell casings and a little bit of ammo. So we're back in this back corner. We made it back this far so far. And um, this receiver, I saw it back here. I started moving things. And it's a Pioneer SX980, I believe is what that says, if you can read it. But I mean, even for parts, these go for anywhere from like two to four hundred dollars. So that just paid for the unit right there. And uh, we still have all this to go. Here's the trailer. It looks to be a jet ski trailer because the lights are way up here, or the light itself. I really don't know what I'm gonna end up doing with this thing. I honestly might end up taking it apart and just scrapping it. Might try to sell it for like a hundred bucks just to get rid of it. But we're still pushing through on this unit. So I was just kind of poking around, looked in this box, and that looks to be, from what I can see in there, the gas RC truck, looks to be a remote there. I know we had that one there. Pulled out this Korean War Parka liner, which I found one that, was, that sold for like 60 bucks on there, on eBay. And then this container, literally all full of different brass fittings, which is perfect. And like these people left so much scrap in here. Yeah, it's all copper and brass down there. There's a ton of copper in here. This is copper in that box. I swear if they would have just scrapped everything that was in here, they could have paid for it. But that's not what happened. That case looks interesting right there. But back to it. Got another tote here with HO gauge trains. And it seems like there's boxes of trains down there. Bunch of tracks more boxes maybe accessories and stuff but i mean brand new track and that's an older track too not really brand new the box is open but still that's some more money that was the one sitting back here and let's see if i can grab this case out of here now because this looks fairly interesting but it's probably gonna be hair clippers well, that's exactly what it is wall yep and just some clippers. So that's that for now. Like I say all the time. But hopefully there's something else hiding. I guess we'll see. Alright guys, so we're packed up for the day. Looks like it's about to rain. Truck's full of trash. So we're going to get on out of here. A little update here on what I'm working on. <clears throat> Got a whole bunch of American Girl dolls that are all there. They're all going on auction um, for seven days. Today is the, I don't know. Would tell me without logging in. No, hold on. And I'm back. Today is the 10th of December, and they're all going on now sometime very soon. i got to take pictures of everything. Got the camera there. But these are all going on. This video hopefully will be up while well, these are still on if you're interested in American Girl dolls, but they're all starting at 10 bucks a piece, going on auction for a week, and that's really it. So we'll see what we can get out of them. Just getting some listings done, and I pulled this ring out. I forget exactly where it came from, but it's marked the Franklin Mint. And after looking it up, it's a George Jensen sterling ring that apparently is pretty rare. Um, most of them sell anywhere from like 150 to 200 dollars, so I'm putting it up for 150 bucks free shipping, and we will see what we can get for it. Got some other things: a pair of Bose headphones, a um, CB radio, little sterling silver necklace, a topaz that I'm just gonna put up at auction, see if I can get something for it. But that's pretty nice. Little update: it's been a couple hours. Still working on eBay. Got to put up a lot of. All these smartphones for parts. And then after that, all these phones are going up just as is for parts or whatnot. And then all these tablets too. I mean, they're all like untested tablets. A lot of them have weird like um, charging ports like this one. Where is it? It's on one side. Right there. But I'm just going to list them for parts, get rid of them. So I'm testing out this computer and I figured out it had the old pinball on it that I used to play all the time as a kid. So... We're playing some pinball right now. I just ended up letting that ball go. I can't really play with one hand. It doesn't really work too well. But that's what I've got going on.
right now. Pretty fun. 0.4 million. But I need to get off of here and get to work. So close to higher than that, I guess. <laughs> Not bad, though. I still love this game.